Hello people, today we are going to be looking into news that broke overnight and that is Ms. Sophie Trudeau, Justin Trudeau's ex, has turned around and said I'm not really friends with Megzi. So we are going to have a look into that with the cards, we're going to have a look from Sophie's perspective as in Sophie Trudeau and then we are going to look into Megzi's perspective on the friendship and see what we can find out. Now, if you're new here, I work in Celtic cross spreads. I will do one layer for Sophie, and then I will use a different deck and use one layer for Megzi. For Sophie, I'm using the Wanderer's Tarot, and I'm using for Megzi the Mystics, Mad Men, and Martyrs Tarot. I am also gonna use the Deadly Apocryphy um, Oracle deck as well. In fact, I'm gonna pull two cards. What does Sophie think of Megzi? Here, there's Sophie's. And what does Megzi think of Sophie? Here. So that is what we are going to do. And then we shall reveal them at the end. So that one is Megzi's card there. That one is Sophie's there. And the rest of the Apocryphy death is going away over here. So let us look into Sophie. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if everyone can share this video out, um, it helps me reach more people. I appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you very much for being here, by the way. Um, let's have a look at Sophie. How does Sophie feel about the story? How does Sophie feel about Megzi? What tea can we get? Now, Sophie is a Taurian and she would relate to the Hierophant as an indicator for Taurus, um, as all the cards in the tarot were related to an astrological sign. So it's been the Hierophant for Taurus, or very well, it can well be, she will come out as the Queen of Pentacles as well, because Pentacles relate to the Earth signs as well as the Nine of Pentacles, I believe, for Taurus, as well as a few cards that can indicate Taurus. Megzi is the Queen of Wands, because she's a fire sign. She's a Leo. She would also be the Strength card. But let's see what Sophie thinks of Megzi. Oh, she's happy families for some reason. Let's see what's crossing over. The Emperor crossing over. I think Sophie's core values are with family and family orientated. The emperor crossing over is definitely some, definitely some king energy. Now, when you think about it, Sophie is part is part of the Commonwealth. She's from Leafland. She's from Canada, so her allegiance actually. isn't with Megzi and she's feeling some type of way. The Eight of Swords, she feels like she can speak now. Things have been out of sync for justice in reverse. And we've got the Eight of Swords there. So she's finding her way out and she can speak now. And she's wanting to correct the record about something with that justice card in reverse and that emperor. So I think interesting she's there's definitely an energy here where she feels like she's been taken out of context and she wants to correct the records two of pentacles so leading up to this i don't know too much about what's happening with sophie in her personal life i know she left mr trudeau um but she's definitely had a change she's definitely some home to work life balancing but when it comes to Megzi it's just like no nah, she doesn't she doesn't know her she doesn't she's not bothered by her I think you're going to find this more and more with people who've been on Megzi's peripheral shall we say she is thinking of her she does she is thinking about her she knows she's got all the attention on her 
Um, yeah. She's not receptive to anything from her, to be honest. I wonder if Megsy's team or Megsy has tried speaking out to her because we have the world there surrounding her. I wonder if Megsy's team are definitely trying to get in touch with her. Then you've got the foundation there. I feel like this is already done and dusted. This is just like an afterthought for Sophie. I don't feel like with these cards that this is like, Oh yeah, and that is completely wrong too. While I'm while I'm settling old old issues that I've had. Hmm. Let's see what Megsy feels about her. I'm interested to start off with that ten of cups. Maybe she's trying to. So she's trying to protect her energy and protect her family, and just say these are my boundaries. You know, because we've got justice in reverse. So she feels like there's some hard something she's. Something's happened here that where she feels like she's been hard done to and feels like things have been taken out of context and that could be her name. And with the Eight of Swords underneath, she's finding a way forward. Um, let's have a look. I just think she doesn't want to be associated with Megan. Let's have a look at Megsy here. How does she feel about this story about Sophie and her? Interesting. There we have the Ten of Swords. She feels like she's been stabbed in the front. Sophie isn't bothered, to be honest, by her too much. She's just like, yeah, that's incorrect. We're not friends. And she's moved on, you know? And the Ten of Wands, a burden. She's carrying a burden. She feels very burdened by things. Okay. Megsy, not Sophie. Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Cups underneath. Hmm. It bothers her when she's seen as shallow. It bothers her when she's seen as not Diana incarnate, put it that way. It really does get on her get on her gripes it really really does we have the queen of cups in reverse and we have the ace of cups underneath i did a reading yesterday as part of the live i think i might have just published it before this reading goes when i like you know sometimes i like to chop things up and put things out um i do that because not everyone's got time to sit through a live you know what i mean and people feel like my content they just like it in shorter form so I try to do a bit for every, everyone. Um, and in that reading, uh, I said, like, I feel like Megsy has had some type of almost like shamanic split with how she views herself and how she views everyone else. Um, she's definitely kind of like outside of herself. You've got this kind of like, oh, I, I, I am... I do not like being seen less than or emotionally shallow or the friendship being weaker than it was. She wants to be surrounded, but she wants to be surrounded with big hitting names. So <clears throat> whether it be Sophie Trudeau or whether it be Beyonce or whether it be, I don't know, Hillary Clinton, whatever. She needs that. She needs that kind of validation, and she's not happy about this at all. The Ace of Cups underneath it, though, shows that she's just like I would. I wouldn't say she's wounded. She's just she's kind of not absorbing the punches and the blows like she used to. And I mean that in the sense that she's kind of like not in her right mind if you will and i don't like there's the two of pentacles as well there was a change both of them have been more and more separate both of them have the two of pentacles leaving the situation 
I think Sophie's just genuinely said, yeah, well, I don't really, I don't really vibe with this chick. She's not really my friend. Um, so there's that. I wonder if this is all done to get away from having to review some scam jam. I mean, fair play. Six of Wands. <sighs> Knight of Cups is in reverse. This is the stuff I mean, like the shallowness of everything, and the Queen of Pentacles surrounding her. And that would be Sophie. So both women are thinking, but Megzi, Sophie is a lot more kind of like it is what it is, no hard feelings, but we're just not really friends. Like a very adult way of doing it. Megzi doesn't like it because she puts her as seen to be a grifter. The Knight of Cups card, for me, as a reader, somebody who's very shallow, is a very surface. They will say anything to get you emotionally involved. And she doesn't like the fact that this has come out about her. And the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, Sophie is a sun sign Taurus. So she would relate to Pentacles. And that is what is surrounding. Sometimes the cards, yeah, are just like, boom, they're that straightforward. Um, there is going to be an issue for Megzi coming up further from this. Um, we have got the Six of Wands in reverse. There is going to be some more, I feel, that's going to, potentially wound Megzi's ego she wants to be Martha Stewart yet Princess Diana with a little bit of uh, Hillary Clinton with a lot of what's that lady called Maya Angelou that kind of thing she wants to be all of these things and was it that what's the called the woman called again Juliet I forget her name I forget her name she was in Pretty Woman Megan copies her teeth. You know who I mean. And what's on Megzi's mind, the High Priestess? Oh. She's concerned about some secrets, eh? And the page of swords. They Megzi is going to try and rebuff this and put this down as gossip eventually. <laughs> and people being nasty. She wants she's a bit wary here because she doesn't want her secrets necessarily being spilt by Sophie. I'm imagining from the tone of the Sophie's article, I'm imagine. Now, this isn't psychic insight. This is just from what I can see from the cards. This is just me trying to make sense of it. I'd imagine that a lot of the relationships Megzi has, especially with people like Sophie, have been basically PR orientated. And Sophie's at the point now where she doesn't need to out of a contract out of her old PR firm or in a place where she feels happiest and she's just like no this this didn't happen this is this is absolute BS this and Megzi is concerned that Sophie's going to say well that didn't happen this didn't happen what kids She's very interested in that. Okay, let's have a look and see what Sophie... <laughs> oh, Sophie's all about a new life, man. She really wants a new life. She's just trying to get past all of this noise and everything. Um, the nutmeg card. <laughs> Sophie wants a new a new life. She's trying to manifest it. She's trying to move on from Megzi and everything attached to her. She doesn't want to be associated with Megzi. I also think the nutmeg card is slightly shady. So um, I do feel like a lot of people, a lot of 
influencers or people of influence, I should say, are actually part of, partly a little bit on the Mexic cruise side. Not all of them, but some of them. They pay attention. They can see it. Let's have a look at um, Megan and so Megan's version. And there's that Libby cap again for Megan. Surrender. She's too defiant. Everybody has to like her. Everybody needs to like her. And she can't surrender that part of herself. She can't let go of the need to be right, the need to be correct. She's so stubborn. And I feel that's why people don't warm to her because she's she needs the last word on anything. She needs to be that person. She will not let it go. Of course, the Liberty Cap, I don't know what you call them in America, but they are like magic mushrooms. So I feel like Megsy is a little bit... I would just say a little bit not in her right mind. And I've been picking that up a fair bit. A lot of this is going to be put down to gossip, certainly from Megsy's camp. It has wounded her, but she's kind of like almost in two or three minds here. She, it, 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 it's very odd. Very odd. I do feel like there is a change in the relationship um, and there will be more coming out i feel maybe not just from sophie but it may be some other people of influence shall we say that would be like what jam <laughs> i don't want no jam or i don't want any beige tupperware they may well be people who are going to dispel some truths about well some of the puff pieces that megsy put out because you remember there was that massive puff piece about Sophie going around Megsy's house and they got into the um, into the pool with pizza floats or something like that. Oh, oh, so eccentric. <sighs> yeah. There will be more coming out about that relationship. That page of swords, Megsy's going to try and put it all down to gossip and nastiness. Um, and that six of wands. Pride becomes pride comes before a fall. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you think of the cards. If you've made it this far, please me leave me a hamza hand or a little eye emoji. You know the blue one that is protective eye. They call it the evil eye. It's a protective eye or a little black cat with some sparkles coming out of its bottom because we're real mature on this channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys spending time with me. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm doing a live tonight about 8 o'clock UK time. And we will be looking at the current state of the UK as well as maybe as well as some royal reads. So much love to you and I'll see you really soon. Bye, everyone.